Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. Today is Friday, uh, July 5th, and the moon is in Cancer. In fact, today is a new moon. The new moon at doesn't actually happen here on the, uh, well, time-wise on the East Coast until 6.58 this evening. Um, so right now we're still in the dark of the moon. We're still in the point where the moon hasn't reached the degree of the sun. It's at the very sort of end of its cycle. And that is the lunation that began with the new moon in Gemini um, about a month ago, actually. But we are standing uh, at the precipice of an opportunity for uh, planting new seeds. Um, in relation to um, the themes of cancer. Cancer, of course, is a um, cardinal, meaning season, sign, season starting water sign. Um, cancer, uh, very cancers in general, are self-starters. Um, they like to be at the head of things. Um, you know, d d traditionally, the head of families but a family can be any group of people that have a common uh, goal, uh, a common sense of purpose, a common uh, need to share and have intimate moments with people from an emotional, from an emotional place. Um, with cancer, we feel mothered, we feel taken care of, uh, we feel loved. And uh, we have an opportunity. Uh, this new moon occurs at 15 degrees of Cancer. So wherever 15 degrees of Cancer may fall in your chart uh, can indicate uh, where this new birth, this, this new seed is being planted. Of course, we have again felt like uh, we have uh, been, I don't know, blown through another... Um, vortex <laughs> over the last couple of days um, our sense of security has been rocked um, and yet uh, we have an opportunity to reassess and uh, rebirth that sense of security um, one of the things I think that uh, the last say well, Jesus, the last, it's hard to say, but <laughs> we'll just say the last, let's just go the last month, yeah? The last month, we've had our ups, we've had our downs, we've had our sense of satisfaction, and then, of course, the, uh, the moaning and the, and the screaming and the sense of loss. It has been an emotional roller coaster, and... Uh, very, very, in a way, very cancer in its nature. So we're feeling a lot of things. It is important to feel the feels. It's important to also rest the mind. Uh, and it's important to nurture the self. Cancer is about nurturance. And as a cancer myself, uh, who loves nurturing folks, I also love to get nurtured. Um, as many of you know, because I announced it. And oh, thank you so much for all the lovely birthday wishes. Thank you for the gifts. Uh, you know who you are. Thank you, thank you. I really do uh, grace, grace, gracefully accept and appreciate uh, your, uh, your gifts, really. Um, so... I'm honored. I'm really honored, I have to say. I mean, this is, this is something I love to do, and the fact that I get to share it with you guys is really beyond the beyond for me. And uh, all the abundance that I receive because of it is uh, just wonderful. So the, they actually did a story in the local press about how incredible the hydrangeas have been this year in Massachusetts. And they're thinking, or maybe it was New England, maybe it wasn't just Massachusetts, um, but they're thinking that it may actually 
um, pretend a colorful fall. So as long as the leaves don't get blown off the trees, I think we'll, we might have a colorful fall. But uh, yeah, things to be grateful for right here, right in front of me. And, uh, you know, this was years and years of tending and allowing uh, the garden to develop and allowing um, the love of the land to shine forth. Yeah. Anyway, so very cancer, isn't it? The fact that I'm a cancer and every morning you're at my house is, is that's the energy. That's the cancer energy. So... What I want to say is every day we have an opportunity. Every day we wake up and our, he our feet hit the floor is another opportunity to create the world that we want to see. And so taking steps, visualizing, taking a moment in the morning, walking through the garden or listening to some nice music or just having a nice hot cuppa um, with your kitty or your, your dog at your feet. Those are the moments, those are the moments, those are the magical moments. This time is full of magic. We are imaginal and magic. Don't forget it. Don't let a bunch of hoo-hahs who've got their head up there. It's hard. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, make you feel any other way than grateful to be here at this moment. We are witnessing some extraordinary things. And when we look back at this, when we have the moment, when, when things come to a point where we feel that this past is behind us and we are looking out to the future, perhaps a, a little exhausted, but feeling fresh and new. We'll see the purpose for all of this. Yes, Charlie? Okay. In true cancer fashion, we're going to go have some breakfast. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a great day. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, I hope you had a safe uh, and uh, fun 4th of July. Ona and I did the uh, Moon Shadows episode. It's on my channel. You can check that out. Um, it's about 30, 36 minutes long. We didn't, we didn't go on for too long. Uh, and um, what else was I going to say? Um, oh, there was something else. Yes, um, we're not going to be doing... Um, the Mystic Sisters live tonight um, because Ona is working. So um, she uh, she just got a new job and her schedule is not quite set yet. So uh, we have to work around Ona's schedule, of course. Um, so uh, next week, most likely next week, uh, and it will be on Ona's channel. I'll make announcements and put stuff up so you guys can find it if you don't know where Ona is. Uh, and we'll do the Mystic Sisters live from there. Um, and, and that will probably be next Friday, but uh, earlier. We usually do it at 7 Eastern. I think we might have to do it about an hour earlier for her schedule. So I will let you know. Okay. Take care, everyone. Namaste.